Uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back to the uh, circuit practice problems and uh, in the coming few uh, videos we'll try to uh, tackle ob -amp questions but as we uh, used to do before we start solving some examples let's see what is the best way to approach a question that has an op amp so uh, this is a question that we want to find uh, the v out when Vs is 10 volt and R is equal to 5 ohms. So I will keep this as, as an R and then at the end, I will substitute it with R and, and Vs value. But again, as I said, before we start solving the problem, let's see what is the strategy, how I can approach an op -amp question. So the, for each node that we have here, we need either to specify the voltage as a known value, either uh, V input or Vs, or a ground zero volt, okay? So if we know the value, we assign the node value for that specific uh, node. And if we don't know the value, we assume it is, or we give it a variable, uh, Vx, Vy, and so on and so forth, okay? And while doing this, we have to watch this, the first, uh, uh, law of an ideal op amp is that the voltage at the negative terminal is equal to the voltage at the positive terminal. So we will need this uh, specific rule when we uh, when we uh, apply the uh, voltages at each single node. Then we apply nodal analysis, which is basically a KCL in terms of the node voltages that we have assigned, and here we need to apply the second rule of the op amp uh, or the ideal op amp which is the i going into the negative terminal of the op amp is equal i going to the positive which is equal to to zero and one last point do not apply kcl at the output nodes why because the output uh, node or the output terminal of the op amp, it will have a current. So basically I will be adding an equation with another unknown. So it doesn't really help me much to simplify simplify the, the problem, okay? So these are the simple rules. Let's start to apply them one by one here. So here for each node, so this is one node. Now this node is connected to the, to the ground. So the voltage here we have here, zero volt now this node is the this is the v n the negative uh, terminal voltage which is equal to the v positive and the v positive is the voltage between here to the ground which is vs so the voltage here is vs and the voltage here is also vs let's move here this is the output of the first op amp and we don't know the voltage here, so I will call it Vx. Let's come here. This node connected to the ground, so this is zero volt. And here, this is Vn, this is Vp. Okay, so both are equal, so this is also zero volt. And finally, this is the last node, which is between this point to the ground, which is your V out. So this is your V out. Okay, so we assigned either a value or a variable to each node. Then we'll start to apply the nodal analysis, but we assume that the current that goes into the negative terminal and the positive terminal equal to zero. So this current is equal to zero, this equal to zero, this current and this current, all these currents are equal to, to zero. So we will have uh, specific nodes. Of course, as we know in nodal, we don't apply node analysis at the ground. So we will not apply nodal analysis at this node, okay? Now we have, and this node is connected to a voltage source, as we know from nodal analysis, we don't apply KCL to it because we already know the voltage here at this node. Okay, and it doesn't really give us anything. The, the, here Vs is equal to Vs. I mean, there's not much here that we can be uh, derived. So we have this node, I will call it node one. This is, we can apply KCL to it. Now this is node number two, but this is the node uh, of the output of the first op amp. So back here, do not apply KCL at output nodes. So we will not apply KCL to this node. 
then we have this node. It doesn't really give us this like the ground point. So there's no there's no no information I can get out of this. Then this yes, this is our second node. This is an, a node, but this is connected to the output of the second op amp. So also I don't apply KCL to it. So basically I have two and two nodes that I, I can apply KCL to to them. So now we are set. We did everything we need before we start solving the problem and now we are ready so we apply kcl at node number number one so we assume the currents are leaving so we have this current and i have this current and we know that this current going into the op amp is equal to zero so we have only two currents so the current that going to the left we have here vs minus zero divided by r plus the current that going up towards vx is vs minus vx divided by 2r equal to zero perfect so i will multiply the whole thing by 2r so multiply 2r with the whole equation so we have here 2 vs plus vs minus vx equal to zero we add these two terms so we have three vs is equal to vx and this is my first equation now we'll apply kcl at node number number two okay so again we will have this branch current is leaving and this current is leaving also and the third branch the current is equal to zero so we will have here the voltage here is what is zero as we uh, we discussed before so we have zero minus vx divided by r plus zero minus v out the current that going back to the output divided by four r is equal to zero I will multiply everything by 4R. So we will have 4 times minus Vx minus V out equal to 0. Or minus 4Vx is equal to V out. So this is my second, second equation. Now, what I want to find is what is the V out? when vs is equal to 10 volt and r is equal to 5 ohms okay now r as you can see it, it disappears because it cancelled out the r as a variable so we will not need this now we are left with vs so v out is equal to minus 4 vx but vx equal to 3 vs so i will substitute so i will substitute 1 in 2 so your V out is equal to minus 4 Vx, which is 3 Vs, or it's equal to minus 12 Vs. And now Vs is 10 volts, so it is minus 120 20 volt. So that will be your output output voltage. Now here in this question, we did not specify the Vs and the minus Vs which will lead the op-amp to saturation of if this value exceed that that level now once since we don't specify vs and minus vs then we just the question ends here so your v out is equal to minus 120 120 uh, volt so as you can see here it's very straightforward as far as you apply these simple rules you apply your kcl identify your nodes then you should have no problem with the op amp question we will be solving more and more challenging uh, uh, questions about op amp in the coming video thanks for joining uh, me and see you soon